Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Vision. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the Scorpio Collective. I will you all beautiful souls are chilling. <laughs> I will that you all are enjoying your day. Uh, this reading will be a general reading, uh, so my spiel, if you are new, is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your moon, your rising, your Venus, check your Mercury, your Mars, check your other placements, beloved, for a more clear and concise message for you. That was Katara. She was hanging out with me on the chair, and she's decided to depart, but show must go on so anyway um it's been a little minute um but i definitely wanted to bless you all with a reading uh see what's coming and going out going on with the scorpio collective i will you all enjoy your strong and that you all are feeling well um we are coming into mercury retrograde season on nine nine um so there's going to be a lot of people from your past that potentially may start popping up. They might pull a pop up move on you. They just might pop up out of the blue. They might hit you up out of the blue. They might even just show up at your doorstep out of the blue. These are folks from your past. Um, so be prepared for that. You know, everyone that comes back from the past is not necessarily coming back for the right reasons, because we all know that Mercury is the planet of communication. So there could be some communication that could be, um, it could be mixed communication. You know, someone could be sending you mixed signals, you know, when the retrograde is gone, they might ghost you again, or you might feel a disconnect again. But uh, just be mindful that everything or everyone that returns to you is not necessarily returning um, with the best intentions. Let's just say it that way. Uh, if you have been here, you already know my name is Q. I am a clairvoyant, so I do incorporate music into my readings. And the way it works is the messages in the song, whether through the lyrics, the name of the artist, maybe even a timestamp in the song, lyrics in the song. It will resonate with the messages I'm channeling intuitively as well as what the cards are reading. Um, right now we have Outcast, and this is called uh, Skew It on the Barbecue. And this is from the Aquemini album. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, someone that could be an Aquarius or a Gemini. Aquemini is a play on both of the two astrological signs. Some of you may have those air signs in your very own chart, which is why I always open up the reading telling you all to delve a little deeper into your natal charts and find out exactly who you are because you're more than just the sun. Check your moon, you know, you might find something very significant. So I digress. So skew it on the barbecue. So like I said, um, communication coming up this next couple of months could be skewed. Uh, so be mindful to use your first eye, to use discernment, to trust your inner wisdom and don't go against that. And you'll just, you'll be just fine. Uh, it's those moments when you go against your intuition and you go against your gut instinct that you find yourself singing the coulda, shoulda, woulda blues. So I do feel that there's an opportunity uh, or a chance, I should say, that some folks from your past may be trying to hit you up. And it's going to behoove you to pay attention to the actions of people and not so much the words, because I do feel like the words are going to be skewed, okay, according to outcasts. Um, somebody could have outcasted you, like they could have casted you out. They could have, um, I'm hearing, abandoned they could have mistreated you, devalued you, or made you feel that way. Um, and I'm hearing strongly in my mind's eye, I'm hearing projection, projection. So some of these people were projecting their own insecurities onto you um, and made you feel as if you weren't good enough. But in fact, they may not have felt good enough for you. Um, some of these individuals that are returning could very well be coming back humbly to impart an apology, um, 
you know, to justify or to correct their wrongs, to even admit their wrongs. Uh, and others are just, you know, talking because they have lips, um, trying to set you back, trying to confuse you, trying to get you caught back in the trap, um, you know, back in that trap of illusions, um, and this is someone who, you know, tends to paint these very tall tales. So you may deal with someone who embellishes a lot, you know, um, tries to come off like they're doing greater and better than they actually are. Um, but they are definitely seeing your progress, which is why they are determined to come back uh, to kind of perhaps reclaim you or to prove a point that, um Perhaps you're not over them um, or that they could still get you if they want. So it's almost like it's a it's it's ego based. I don't feel this is someone sincere or genuine. So uh, I do feel the communication just as outcast was rhyming can be skewed. So be very mindful. Um, right now we have Method Man and this is called All I Need. Um and so when I heard method, I just feel like this person, there's a method to their madness. So I'm hearing calculated, um, I'm hearing uh, cunning, I'm hearing trickster, I'm hearing all of those flag words. So just be mindful, because as I said, someone could just be coming back just to prove a point. Um, and they may not be on the same page. They still may not be on the same page as you. And remember, my saying, <laughs> you know, whatever isn't growing is dead. So if you're the only one transforming and growing and coming into your own, reinventing yourself, and then you have somebody from your past coming back and they're the very same person that you left in the past, meaning they have not evolved um, in their perspectives. Um, they're not looking at life differently. Um, maybe they're still partaking in the same things that were detrimental to them. Maybe they still have the same janky, sussy, you know, questionable to people in their cir circles and ciphers. And you know that you've just taken a lot of steps to, uh, you know, to purge certain behaviors, habits, ideologies, belief systems, so that you were not the same. And then you have somebody coming back who's still doing the same. It's like that's an immediate red flag keep it pushing this is someone who's very calculated when i heard method man i just heard that this was someone very methodical someone who's very calculating um someone analyzing so they could be studying you and watching you uh from a distance you know and and trying to um plan i heard plan an attack so just be mindful okay don't don't get duped don't get got don't fall for the okie doke uh, and don't allow anyone to to um, have you going backwards, you know, because I see strong progress. I see a lot of progression um, in this person's absence. And I feel when they come back, it's like there's going to be like it's like I'm hearing rewind. So it's almost going to be like it's going to be more of the same that you fought so hard to get out of. So it's like somebody is trying to entrap you or someone is trying to have you repeat a cycle or go backwards. And we already know it's forwards movement, upward and onwards movement. So keep that in mind, beloved. So that is the download I received from Skew It on the Barbecue. So for many of you all, um, like I said, this could be someone that is an air sign. So keep that in mind. So uh, just as I said, my readings are uh, general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. My readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, whenever this video pops up in your feed magically, that was the divine timing intended for you all to click play. So let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done. I have spoken enough. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most High God, our Creator, shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light 
I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So, beloveds, right now we have um, John B. And the name of this song is called They Don't Know. So I guess what I'm what I'm hearing is um, they don't know who who the hell they messing with. <laughs> they obviously didn't get the memo that things have changed. There's been some construction going on internally, spiritually with you. So if they are coming back trying to play the same old tired games, it's like they don't know what they're in for. They're in for uh, a surprise <laughs> is what I'm hearing. So y'all are like, yeah, you, you can play if you want to. Um, <laughs> but uh, who you are going to meet is uh is com entirely a different person so we got here 27 on the bottom of the numerology deck and we have um spiritual partnership so you all are definitely opened to not only you know meaningful connections but i feel like you are all being aligned with very spiritual connections and partnerships you are coming into union with your spiritual tribes your soul tribes your soul family you're coming into union with those very meaningful connections so i do feel strongly that there are some uh some of you have been really working hard on yourself that 27 is the hermit nine is the number of the hermit in traditional tarot so i strongly feel a lot of you have been isolated um but not isolated in a sense of um hiding from uh, others or hiding from you know the process of healing or recovery but you've been really isolated to focus on those things so it isn't you know um it isn't anything to you uh to you know re uh how should i say reemerge um as someone who is going to set the record straight because there's been enough soul discovery, self-discovery, soul work, soul healing um, done for you to now be able to stand in your power, stand in your truth and mean what you say and say it with conviction. You know, um, I'm hearing in my mind's eye, uh, you know, old Helen is gone. Um, that's from one of them old uh, Tyler Perry movies. I can't remember. Uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, I think. It's an old, old film. But that that line, for whatever reason, uh, for whatever reason, is is like it's just so loud in my mind's eye. And basically, just to give you a summary, I don't want to really mess it up for anybody who hasn't seen it but th this woman was being emotionally and even physically abused for years by her husband um you know he discarded her treated her like she was trash and she took the time out to heal herself and you know when something happened like a true empath when something happened to him uh, something tragic happened to him she ran to to his side to help him he was still trying to treat her like the old Helen that was, you know, used to getting beat down on. And um, she set the record straight and, and she got a little bit of revenge and she let him know, like, look, she let him know what type of time she was on. Old Helen is gone. <laughs> She's, she doesn't live here anymore. So I feel for many of you all, that is like your sentiment right now. If somebody trying to come back from the past, first and foremost, they're going to have to get past the, 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 the guard. You know what I'm saying? You got some guardsmen up. You have like defensive, defensive mechanisms. They're going to have to go through. Like you have a wall, there's boundaries. There's just so many layers that they're going to have to get through to be able to even get to you. So it's like, you're not even falling for the okie you are more inclined to focusing on those more meaningful spiritual connections opposed to those that are just surface level or people who are just bumping their gums. Um, so this is powerful. Right now we have um, Mary J. Blige 
And this is called love no limit. So yeah, so with with the spiritual partnerships, I feel like this is like you're gonna have like infinite love, infinite light uh, with these connections. These are very meaningful. Um, love no limit is like it's saying it's an infinite supply. Um, infinite possibilities many of you all this has come out so many times this year um that it's not even funny many of you all you have a calling and your calling is uh something rooted in spirituality uh especially with the spiritual partnership some of you may not only you know discover your um your soulmate is you know uh um, someone who's also into the practice, but you may find you two coming together to uh, conduct business together. You may run a spiritual business together. I see, you know, like the high priest and the high priestess um, together doing great things. So some of you all with that 78, 15, 6, this is absolutely someone from your past that could be coming. I don't feel you just have one person coming back from your past. There could very well be several people. Um, some of the people, some of these individuals are secret admirers whereas some of them are um, pretty scorned and bitter individuals looking for revenge, looking to uh, score. Um, so you just have to keep your head on the swivel with that uh, spiritual career. I feel like, you know, because that's dealing with six deals with the uh, first eye, I feel like you see these individuals for who they truly were, which is why you disconnected from them anyway. This is why you've cut those uh, connections off to begin with, you know. So it's like for them to come back with the same old shenanigans is almost foolish on their part. Um, but this is what the devil does. They don't, they don't, they're like a one trick pony. You know, they just rotate the same tired trickery um, in hopes that you are, you know, just vulnerable, too vulnerable or too foolish to see. Uh, but I don't feel like you are. I feel like, you know, with that spiritual partnership and then this uh, spiritual career, I feel like you all are very much inclined to seeing through the bullshit. Um, so we have surrender here, 91 on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like with that 9110, um, I feel like you could have been very passive um, formally. Um, there was an end to that, though, you know, because maybe you found that you were you were giving, but there was no reciprocation. There was no um, no they weren't matching your energy. They weren't matching um, your your fly to begin with. So it's like, you know, you had to stop uh, submitting your will and just surrender to the process of learning to love yourself. So that that 91 is really like an ending, you know, and and the endings always denote new beginnings. So there was an ending for you reaching for someone and surrendering and being all open only to have them give you very little, if anything. I was hearing the word abandonment earlier, and then I was also picking up that someone from your past could be coming back potentially, um, you know, with, with a very skewed, um, you know, type of perspective. They still haven't really learned or they haven't really elevated in their ways of thinking. And so it's going to be um, quite jarring to, to have that. We got seven, seven spirituality. So your divine counterpart is someone who is on your frequency vibration, someone who's also into spirituality, someone who is also um, a healer, you know, someone who's had to heal themselves. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. And the fact that you have spiritual career is very uh, it, it, it speaks volumes to the work that you've had to do in order to uh, be ordained someone who should run or can run um, a spiritual practice. So the person you're attracting with that seven, I strongly feel there's a spiritual connection. This could be someone from a former life. This could even be someone you've met here in this lifetime that you've always felt a synergy and chemistry with, but the timing was incorrect. It wasn't the right timing. And and now I feel there's a sense that the lines of communication can open up because that 7-7 seven, seven reduces to 14, which is 5. So both of you have been mastering yourselves. Um, 7 is the crown chakra. 7 is also deals with the chariot. So this is about finding balance in oneself, mind, body, and soul. But this is also about asserting oneself, having courage, having the confidence to assert oneself. So perhaps someone is returning um, because they feel this strong chemistry connection and are um, is looking for an opportunity to cease this moment 
uh, with a communication. I feel with with you know open communication, honest communication, um, and the walls being down, there can definitely be an opportunity to clear the air or to heal this union. So this is very powerful, and I do feel this is not just any old Joe Blow or any old Jill bill whatever i don't know but it is this is like somebody who's really um you know coming in for the right reason someone you have a very spiritual connection with i'm hearing a soul tie of sorts and we have nas rhyming in the background nothing lasts forever so maybe the separation between the two of you um you know that's what spirit is saying that it doesn't last forever now you're having this opportunity to uh reconcile to rekindle um to even reunite you know, to to set the record straight. I kept hearing set the record straight, clear the air, uh, because maybe there was some maybe there was just a, a sense of a disagreement. That disagreement turned into no communication. So I got a couple of cards that flew out. Where is it? All right. Thank you. So we have rebirth. Major transformations have taken place, just as I said. And we have healing, 66, speaking to the healing that not only you've done, but they've done as well, whoever you're attracting. And we have that 37 timeout. So just as I was saying, I felt like there was a very, um, very intentional step away. Like you stepped away from all of the noise, all of the distractions, people, places, things, so that you could focus and hone in on you on healing yourself, um, discovering who you are, your likes, your interests, your desires, your passions, what you don't like even for that matter. These are the things that you do once you've had some sort of major breakthrough or transformation in your life. Um, this has brought some sort of awareness. It's brought you into some form of enlightenment about what you needed. We just had that 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. So I do feel that there was absolutely, um, you know, you started to really develop a stronger connection with your spiritual self, your higher self, with universe, source, mother, guy, your angels, ancestors. Um, and this really helped you to navigate through uh, some really difficult times. Uh, with the 66, 12, that's three, I do feel like you was healing from heartache and loss, um, healing from rejection, healing from even, you know, death of loved ones, um, healing from being abandoned, healing from childhood issues, um, you're healing your inner child. Um, there was just more of a focus to really uh, recover, to heal, to grow, um, and to restore yourself, uh, to rejuvenate your spirit even. I also feel this is what has um, opened you up to becoming that divine feminine, uh, becoming that empress, being someone who's learned her own worth, her own value through those difficult circumstances, through those painful relationships, um, those painful encounters, those disappointment, those disappointing um, moments, you know, even within your own family dynamic. Um, but this has showed the, the great healing, the great efforts. I feel you are being matched with someone who's also been through similar experiences. So it's not a situation where you are going to have to teach someone how to love you or teach someone your love language, because this person is absolutely someone who's been through similar experiences and is humbled in the same ways you have, you've been humbled. Um, so they will be coming in uh, with the intention to build, uh, to grow, uh, you know, to establish a partnership or some sort of, you know, strong foundation uh, because their intentions is to to um, plant seeds, you know, to really invest in this connection. So this is powerful. And I feel both parties have taken the necessary time out to focus on the self so that when you do come into a partnership or a relationship, um, you're bringing your best self uh, forward. You're bringing your best self to the forefront. So this time out was necessary. A lot of enlightenment took place. You received a lot of divine downloads and interventions. Um, um, I also feel someone dreams of you heavily, daydreams of you heavily. Um, this could be a vice versa situation, but there is someone that constantly runs across your mind or someone's constantly thinking of you. Um, and this is what also has kept that, that light 
you know, that fire burning, you know, that that burning desire going because of that, the energy, the intention of thinking of someone, um, you know, the energy it takes to think of someone. Um, so I do feel like someone has absolutely uh, had some sort of epiphany during these moments um, in isolation or in these moments uh, alone. Um, and it's brought them to some sort of greater awareness. One is um, associated with a new beginning beginning, but it's also associated with the magician. So someone could be, you know, definitely very intentional in trying to manifest you back, or you have discovered that you are that alchemist, that magi, that sorcerer, that, that, you know, that um, spiritual practitioner that can manifest one's desires and you could see rapid results. So this is beautiful. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios, Divine Spirit, Love and Light. So those two cards um, flew out during the shuffle and I'm going to get a nice cut of the deck because I always like to cut my deck. Whatever jumps out, you already know I always take those. All right, spirit of love and light. I'm hearing one more. Thank you, spirit. All right. All right spirit of love and light was coming in for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of love and of light. All right, spirit of love and light was coming in for my beautiful Scorpios. And we have teaching and learning. So this is definitely a very... Um, this is a consistent message between like cosmic companions, twin flames, soulmates. Um, there's always that element of teaching one and learning one, um, teaching and learning because one person within that dynamic is always uh, far more um, aware, like they're more aware of the connection of the chemistry of the relationship than the other person. So it somewhat gives the off that, that runner chaser. Like one person always feels like they're running after someone that's running away from them. And I feel like, you know, when you're running after someone, the natural, uh, reaction is to run. So it, I feel there's been almost this, this element of learning to not run after anyone or chase anyone, but more so attract um, what you desire to you. So that 57, 12 is three. Um, you're learning, like I said, your worth and your value is a divine feminine, is a divine masculine. You don't chase, you attract. Um, you know, even the lion in the jungle, he don't go chasing food. I mean, he could, but he got his, you know, his, his lioness is there that, that goes and hunts because his duty is to protect the, the, you know, the, the herd. So it's like, um, there's always that dynamic where you attract what you want. You know, it's going to come to you in other words. And I feel like this is something that you all have learned to, to own your beauty, your strength, own your power, um, own who you are. You know, I feel a lot of that healing that was, um, required was doing part two, uh, perhaps maybe your, um, unhealthy relationship with yourselves, even, you know, maybe a lot of you had some really negative self-talk, you know, maybe you were really, you know, beating yourselves up and, and, and really, um, judging yourselves from, uh, some of the past, you know, uh, circumstances you've experienced. And really it's about showing compassion to oneself. But I feel as you were learning, um, someone who's been watching you from afar has also been learning from you. So you've been not only the student, but the teacher at the same time. And this is how that works when you are um, starting to take onus accountability and really start that healing process. Um, you start to discover you know, your, your, uh, superpowers, uh, just by being vulnerable, you know, um, just by accepting yourself and, and learning to love yourself and learning to, uh, focus on self care, focus on self worth, you know, um, and that in and of itself becomes, uh, very attractive and other people begin to really, um, gravitate towards you. Uh, and this is that same energy of someone that wants to build with you and work with you. We have synchronicity here. So you have someone who feels that you are in sync with them, like you match their fly, their vibration, that you are like a twin flame, a soulmate, that you probably finish their sentences. Like I said, this is the chemistry uh, between two people who um, could have lost contact, who could have had some sort of disagreement or had some sort of separation because I feel strongly timing wasn't right. Um, 
I feel there was a lot of uh, karmic circumstances, lessons that needed to be learned um, prior to you and this person coming into union. And not only that, you had to learn to heal in a healthy way, not cling on to someone else and use them as a crutch or as a rebound to get over a, a past person. Perhaps that's where this was headed. And spirit stepped in and said, no, this is not the right timing. So you was able in those moments to focus more so on yourself, focus more so on the self-love, you know, and this in return had showed um, some discipline. And as I said, self-love always makes you more attractive um, than someone who's just always willing to appease and please and self-sacrifice and, and, and just overextend themselves. That's not uh, the, 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 um, the social cues uh, that that gives off the way you're communicating with source with with the ethers or the universe the message you're sending out is that you're not worthy of having someone do those things for you because you're always so willing to do it for someone else so it's like make people meet you where you are you know delegate some of the responsibilities um, don't feel the need to save everybody or to always be the one um, taking the first step or taking initiative. If you are a feminine energy, allow yourselves to be courted, ladies. Allow that man to court you, to buy you flowers, to pull out your chair, to open a door, um, to open the car door. Um, don't be too strong. Um, there's a difference, you know. Um, there's definitely a difference. And um, when you have too much of a wall up, it, it makes it very difficult for people to navigate that. Um, or to break it down, you know, and um, you don't you don't want anybody to have to go through those extra steps. Um, but, you know, um, I digress. So let's see what we got going in, going out, going on. But, um, yeah, spirit is saying be tough, not hard. You know what I'm talking about? Like be tough, not hard. So with the synchronicity, past love is definitely coming back. I was picking up on that. But this person is different. This is someone that you have like that, that you know, funny banter back and forth. You get each other's jokes. Um, you both have very deep conversations. Like this is someone who is not surface level by any means. Um, someone that you have very stimulating conversation, someone that just piques your interest and vice versa. Um, so I feel there's an attraction. Um, like it's like you, you, you love this person's mind or they love your mind, but there's a lot of things that are happening, uh, simultaneously and these are signs that your person is coming in uh, perhaps you're starting to see a lot of synchronicities and numbers uh, maybe you're seeing 888-777-666 maybe you're also seeing 1111 a lot 444 um, 333 uh, but I do strongly feel like there is uh, someone that's um, heavily thinking of you and it's it's so strong, so intense that perhaps maybe you're picking up on it um, now because your first eye is wide open. Uh, and, you know, spirit could just be giving you those little nudges and letting you know someone or something is coming towards you. Um, we have Jadakiss, and this is called Rockin' with the Best. So you definitely have somebody that is going to be best suited for you. Uh, I feel strongly spirit is aligning you with this person because this 87, I'm seeing the lovers in my mind's eye. And when you think of the lovers, there's always the angel that sticks out in my, my mind that's overseeing that union. And even in the depiction of that card, um, the feminine is looking up at the angel, whereas the masculine is looking over to the feminine. So it's almost as if that feminine is very aware of the spiritual union, the spiritual partnership that they have with that divine masculine. But the divine masculine is still watching um, the feminine, perhaps waiting for some sort of sign or waiting for some some grand gesture so that they can make a move um, with rocking with the best. I do feel like this is somebody who feels like they could be your rock or you feel that this connection is very strong and stable, um, solid, something that you uh, could see yourself really investing in. Um, but this is someone definitely who has like union on their mind, partnership. Um, they want to be your rock. I feel strongly because that word rock is really sticking out. So let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of love and light. May I have a message of love and light for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. May I have a message of love and of light. Ooh, goodness, how did that happen? And look, these two are in my hand, but the whole 
almost a whole <laughs> thing of cards. I'm going to put these back on the bottom and give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Bottom of the deck is that timeout. So someone did take enough time to, to assess something. And these two cards, and I only have two more slots, so I feel like these are your messages. And so we have domestic harmony, number 46. And then we have abundance, number 88. So this is beautiful. So what I'm automatically gathering is that if someone was in a partnership, because I was picking up heavily karmic relationships, karmic cycles, karmic lessons, um, you know, have transformed both parties, all parties involved have been transformed through the experiences. Um, there was some sort of relationship that had to come to uh, a close and end. Um, someone was still partnered with another person and this connection has met its demise this relationship has ended um because whatever uh harmony um that was initially um gelling this connection together it, it, it has come to an end there's a lack of harmony there's a lack thereof there's even a lack of emotional connection there's a lack of communication there's a lack of just connectivity with this person um and someone is really not at peace emotionally or mentally. Um, there's a lot of things that they may feel they're biting their tongue or walking on eggshells. Uh, this is someone who could still be residing in a home with a partner, but, uh, you know, spending time in a separate room. So they're not even sharing a bed or sharing, you know, um, a living space with another person, meaning like, you know, the room, the bedroom together, they're living in a completely other room. Um, the peace is gone. I just feel a lot of gloom, doom, you know, um, I don't, I feel someone is blue. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just hearing someone is really blue, but I also feel strongly, um, it's because someone is realizing, um, that their emotional connection is elsewhere. It's not in this partnership. So that's why the, it, the harmony, um, there's imbalance, you know, um, within this, this household, within this family, within this relationship. Uh, what I see as an outcome for uh, you Scorpios is I see there's a lot of abundance and I feel that this is the uh, blessings that you are receiving, the recognitions, the answered prayers, um, the wish fulfillments um, for your hard work, for your transformation, uh, for you emerging as someone new. I feel like many of you, like I said, you just drew this awareness of your ability to manifest and you're manifesting some opulence in your life, expansion in your life, success and, and breakthroughs and victories in your life. And these are making you very emotional uh, satisfied. Um, this pink is showing me that there's uh, joy, you know, there's extreme joy and happiness. And I feel like you're taking a pause to just enjoy it. You know, this is like that attitude of gratitude, not rushing, but just taking a moment to really, um, you know, digest exactly what has just happened. Um, to really assess your next moves and not just speed and rush along and hurry along and do something else like it's like this this abundance you've been waiting for I feel like you've manifested this this is like it's it, I'm hearing these are the the blessings that you've been you know praying for and and w hoping for and asking for um and now it's just it's, it's showering down upon you um, that 16 reduces to seven. And I feel it's coming quicker than you could even imagine because I'm getting the chariot. Um, I strongly feel like you all have worked very hard for this. And that's why there's this sense of balance and restoration here. Um, and so we have J. Cole right now and he is rhyming adolescent. So, yeah, there, there was some some very juvenile um, behavior. Uh, that she was dealing with in the past, but I do feel like, you know, a lot of you all have learned to um, focus more on what your love language is and not so much trying to appease and please people that you're not really equally yoked with. So we have in the bottom of the psychic tarot is another eight. 
So we got 8, 8, and then and this is 8. So there's positive movements forward. Um, definitely, I see success in your future breakthroughs. I see forward movement. I see success in businesses. Um, I also see you all moving away from anything that doesn't serve your highest good. I also feel someone is coming back uh, so that they can set the record straight, so that they can clear the air with you. Because this abundance is literally, it could be anything. Uh, it could be an abundance of love. It could be abundance of wealth. Uh, uh, abundance of opportunities, abundance of happiness. Um, but I do feel like this is a positive move forward. And what did I say? It's because you, you've you learned the lessons. You know, you've been learning your lessons. You've been, you know, doing your knowledge. <laughs> uh, and, and here we see wise dome. So it's like you've wisened up. So that shows that you've learned from your mistakes, um, namely a devil. I was telling you I was feeling a devil was, was in your... Um, energetic field and there they are temptation and this is someone that's going to try to tempt you um, to do things that you necessarily uh, ought not to do uh, and with this 15 this is spirit telling you trust your intuition you are smarter than they think you are um, spirit has already given you the fruits of knowledge with this five that's like the hierophant so you've been studying as i said you know you've been gaining uh, a, a deeper more profound understanding of yourself but also uh developing a spiritual connection with your angels your guides um with your higher self so a lot of you have really been you know learning more about spirituality uh and i feel now it's like you can see the nonsense a mile away uh, but this person will still, you know, like I said, they are one trick pony and they will come back with the same type of deceptive, cunning, you know, slick, sly games to try to trap you or entrap you. Um, but I see here you're moving forward. You know, like I said, positive movements forward, upward and onward. And it's because you're spiritually strong. Look what's underneath that spiritually strong. And we got material harvest. So this is why this person could be coming back because they just automatically see that you have a lot of blessings coming in. Spirit already said you have an abundance, you know, and, and, and this abundance are um, very much uh, rewards um, for your hard work, for completing those very difficult um, karmic lessons and for learning the lessons more importantly. But this devil is trying to tempt you. You're too strong spiritually. You know, you've gotten to the point where you are um, a teacher. We saw spiritual um, career. So it's like now you are so strong in your spirituality that you could teach this devil the thing or two. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot of blessings. You feel a lot of wish fulfillment and, and joy and peace. Somebody could just be bored, which is why they're coming back to mess with you because they have nothing better to do. That's why I said somebody's just coming back with skewed communication, just talking because they have lips, trying to confuse you, trying to trip you up. So we have um, Dave East, and this is called Maintain. So I feel spirit is saying just maintain your composure like don't allow anybody to take you off your square to get you all riled up uh, because that's really what their intentions are and there we have it the seven this is the chariot triumph and positive movements forward so this is guaranteed you are moving forward regardless whatever this devil is trying to do to uh, trip you up they are going to be in for a very rude awakening because it's not stopping anything you're still moving forward you are definitely um, a very powerful force. Uh, you are very confident in yourself, in your abilities, and you're not allowing anyone from your past to distract you from your happiness, um, from your peace. Uh, with this red, I just feel like you've taken a lot of time to focus on making sure you are healthy, making sure you're secure in your own being uh, so that you don't need anyone else external to you to validate you. And because you've done that work, now you can really move forward with that confidence. Um, we have um, Mary J. Blige singing uh, beautiful ones. So this person realizes that you are one of the beautiful ones. You are uh, one of those earth angels. You are that rare breed. You are someone who is very um, royal, regal, um, someone who you know, is very infectious, you know, very mysterious. You pique their interest. Um, this is someone who knows exactly what you bring to the table, um, but they have nothing to offer you. 
but they want to convince you that they do, you know, it's just so that they can control you and have you going through that, you know, that merry-go-round of, of emotional uh, trauma, you know, it's just a repeat cycle of the same issue just worked so hard for, but I feel you are far too wise to fall for the okie doke. Uh, this 12 sacrifice is like the hanged man. Um, and I just feel like, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, reflections internally, um, as well as internal, um, or introspection, I should say, um, self audits. And you realize just how beautiful you are as well. Um, you don't need anyone to tell you you're beautiful because you now own it. You now accept your beauty. Uh, you don't shy from it. Even if it isn't physical beauty per se, you realize you're a beautiful soul. You realize that you really spread a lot of love and light and you really have people's best interests at heart and if someone is 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 uh trying to exploit that or or uh, use you um or even be an energy vampire or some sort of spiritual parasite um then that's their loss I feel like you started to look at yourselves differently. This is like you having a more evolved perspective. I also feel this is spirit humbling someone else to see you in your light, see you as you are, uh, because this is a sacrificial position, which means spirit sat someone down so that they are forced to look at things from someone else's vantage point. And this is why Mary J. Blige is rhyming or singing, excuse me, beautiful ones in the background. So someone realizes now that you're a beautiful one which is why they're coming back doing what they know how to do that's the only thing they know how to do they only know to manipulate they only know uh to play games this is uh definitely someone who was an adolescent we had j cole ram an adolescent so someone who's still emotionally immature um someone who's very young-minded um i'm hearing nas is um in their second childhood third childhood so we have uh, rejoice and celebration. So I already mentioned that somebody's returning, uh, reuniting. Give me one moment. My son is calling me. Pardon me. So yeah. So let's see. So there we have it again. It goes that star wishing on the star. So your 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 answers uh, to your prayers are coming in very quickly. I feel like you all have something very beautiful coming in, and. Um, this is going to make you excited. I feel someone also feels your wish fulfillment as well. You know, see that spiritual partnership? This person is coming in quickly. Spiritual union. This person is like a wish fulfillment for you. And you can, that's why you got that double eight there too as well. You know, because you both are going to feel the same way about one another. 46, 46 on the clock, 10, 10. So both of you were wrapping up karmic cycles just as I was uh, picking up. That's why there was um, that feeling of like the timing was wrong. So you all will know who this person is just based off of that. Everybody doesn't have the same circumstance. The reading isn't going to resonate with everyone, but those that do. This is that person that you had dope chemistry, dope synergy, but the timing was off. Maybe y'all live in two different countries. Maybe when you met, they were still entangled with another relationship and vice versa. But the chemistry was real. You know, maybe y'all met up when y'all was at a break in your relationships with your karmics. And then you both got back together with the karmics. And so that meant that the connection could not be explored further. So this could be any of those scenarios. So look at this firm foundation. So this is what you all have had to learn to stand perpendicular in your square, to stand erect, to stand independently of another person. This is all about independence, but this is also about security, stability, self-sufficiency. This is what you've had to learn. Uh, you could have been in codependent relationships, and that's usually what karmic relationships are. They're, you know, codependent, they're you know, rather toxic. There's a lot that you have to learn about yourself in those particular um, relationship dynamics. But I feel like you've learned to stand up for yourself, you know, to stand your ground, to speak your truth, um, to not back down, you know, to, you know, to face your fears even, you know, you've emerged someone very strong. You've emerged someone who has their ish together, you know, someone very powerful, someone who is, um, 
very confident. This also deals with the root chakra as well because it's red. And so that root deals with your security, just as I said, you know, being able to establish your own um, financially, you know, being able to take care of your own financially like that. That has a lot to do with it as well. See this? I told you all y'all was being recognized. Recognition and reward. This is because of the great works you've done, the great things you've endured, all of the painful circumstances, the tumultuous circumstances. It's like the way that you handled them was just, it was like in true, uh, you know, fashion, true healer fashion. It's like you did it with grace. I'm hearing grace with poise, with self-respect. You know, the healing process was not easy, but this has also been how you've been because uh, i told you you were being crowned king or queen so that's that empress energy that 66 12 is three so yeah you had to heal from the the pain of having you know heartbreak and loss even the loss of loved ones because that could be the three of swords vibration um feeling broken hearted feeling bamboozled feeling unappreciated feeling you know ab abandoned in a relationship but then also taking the healing process very seriously, very intentionally uh, focusing on becoming a better version of yourself. And because you've done that, you've been crowned, you know, uh, by the divine. You're being rewarded. You're being recognized because now you are absolutely owning the fact that you are that divine feminine. You are that divine masculine. So now you know your worth. You know your value. Um, you've come into this awareness. And spirit is saying, you know, accept this these gifts you know you're being showered these gifts these answered prayers are coming in your wishes are being fulfilled miracles are happening and taking place this is just a very beautiful energy because you're being treated like royalty by the divine you know and it's because of the work you've done um we got mob deep and this is called i for an eye so yeah this is powerful so eye for an eye when i hear that um you know all the evil eyes that were watching it's like whatever they were sending to you whatever happened it's like they they received their karma you know i feel like those who have caused you this pain um the pain that you had to heal from i feel very strongly like karma uh, is repaying these individuals you know it's repaying them whereas you're also getting karma this is like you getting your just due this is spirit giving you, you know, giving you the return on your investment, all that time and energy and effort you put into relationships only to be used or duped or tricked or played or, you know, just treated uh, less than. It's like, you know, this is this is the this is the end result. And guess who's going to have to watch you be uh, recognized and, and, and be crowned that king or that queen? Your haters, the ones that were sitting around playing games to begin with so let's see why is this healing card here for my beautiful scorpios may have a message of love and of light for my beautiful scorpio spirit why is this healing here for my beautiful scorpios okay see that we got the waiting game didn't i tell y'all divine timing we got number two waiting game somebody was still wrapped up in another relationship as were you because i'm getting two of pentacles when you got the two that means that there's indecision that means there's a choice of some sort someone is in two minds uh perhaps somebody was dealing with two different people um and as i said this is what was happening timing you know this is this is like the divine timing you feel like you've been waiting you know, and this is falling under the divine feminine energy. It's also falling under that energy of, you know, having to heal, you know, so there was th the healing needed to take place before the union or else you would have just been perpetuating more of the same toxic behaviors in this partnership, which is a no, no. You got to learn your lessons before you come into union with your divine counterpart, with that cosmic companion. And so this may feel like you've been waiting a while you know, you've been waiting a long time, but this is because two souls have to heal. Two souls have to, you know, release whatever um, pain and trauma they've endured. They have to learn the lessons. And that's what I feel like you you are doing here. And your your divine counterpart is matching your vibration and, and also mirroring you. So this is powerful. See that? Harmony. I can't make this up. 
So someone is learning from you, just as I said. This six harmony. I was telling you that six was giving me the lovers. Here it is. These two people are so in love that they're creating, you know, the chemistry that they have is creating the vibration, the, 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 the vibration of love. Green is the color of the heart chakra. So this is definitely someone who has been watching you from afar, just as I've said. And what did I also say? That the divine feminine, divine masculine, they don't chase, they attract. So this is something that's been intensifying even in your absence. They've been watching you and learning you and studying you. And what cannot be denied is the energy and the chemistry that the two of you share. And we have Gangstar, and this is called Words I Manifest. So just as I said, this person could be manifesting you back into their life. This could be you manifesting this person into your life because there is this awareness that this connection is deeper than you may have initially let on. But this three and the six reduces to nine. And nine is the highest vibration of change. Nine is also the number of the hermit. So there is a sense that there's no communication between you and this divine counterpart. But there is this strong chemistry that is gravitating you both to one another. I feel there's also, like I said, a lot of cerebral activity, dream activity, thoughts, daydreams, night dreams. This is someone thinking of another person constantly, feeling their touch, hearing them, smelling them. Like it, it, it's a very deep connection. Someone has been learning. Someone knew all along how deep and how spiritual the relationship, the connection was, whereas the other person may be coming into this awareness now. That's very powerful. Bottom of the deck, see that? Emotional loss. So someone is healing, you know, from that karmic relationship. There's been a lot of pain, a lot of, you know, energy and time, effort put into a relationship. When you are with anyone, it doesn't matter if it's a karmic or not. It's like whenever you put that type of time and energy into a relationship, um, you're not doing that with the intention for it to fail, you know, so when it does fail, you do feel that you feel that hurt. That's why there's double sixes here, because I feel not only have you had to learn uh, and heal from past pains and wounds and, and traumas, but I feel the person you're attracting has also had to learn to heal that as well. You know, and, and, and they're healing themselves, same as you healing yours. They're learning to heal themselves because I feel they've been watching you. They've been watching you in your process and they're healing from a relationship with which, you know, with whom they could have resided with this person. Maybe they have a family. Maybe they have already, you know, intertwined and blended families. And so it is hard to invest that much time and energy into a relationship only for it to fail. I'm hearing someone could have been with another person for six years, 15 years, um, 10 years. Um, you know, uh, it could have even been... Um, 12 years, but I strongly feel, you know, like somebody has been taking the necessary steps to uh, heal themselves and they're going to walk away because that 46 gives off one, the five um, is, uh, you know, the, it reduces to six. So 46 is one and the five included is six. So this is like moving away. I'm getting the six of swords. Like somebody's making the decision to move out of a home, relocate, move away, change locations, change address. Um, and in that process, they can uh, start focusing on healing themselves, um, start focusing on themselves. Um, because it was a very challenging and very um you know, very tumultuous, I feel, circumstance. And we see here on the bottom of the deck, the universe, which is the world card. So number 21 always tells us that there has been, um, you know, great changes. Um, you know, there's been enormous change. There's been uh, sudden upheavals, uh, but this was all necessary. You've gained a deeper, profound understanding of yourself, of the circumstances. Um, you've learned to be more compassionate towards yourself, to be more trusting of the divine, to um, not submit your will. You've learned many lessons in this process. And now you are more evolved in your ways of thinking. Um, so now you're more intentional in what 
you're doing as well. So I feel this energy in and of itself, it just speaks to wisdom, wise dome. Um, 21 breaks down to three. So that is the empress. You're giving off that energy of that divine feminine, that divine masculine um, even. It's just a very strong confidence, someone who knows their worth, someone who knows their value, someone very beautiful and attractive, uh, someone who's very loving and nurturing as well, very domestic as well, someone who's creative, birthing new ideas. Someone could even see you as perhaps the mother of their child, um, see you as their wife, uh, their divine counterpart. There's power, you know, someone sees God in you. Someone sees a goddess in you. They see your power. They're attracted and drawn to your power. I also feel someone is really um, mustering up the strength you know, mustering up the strength to, to, to come see you because I feel strongly there's distance. I feel strongly um, there's not just physical distance, but perhaps, you know, um, emotional distance because there hasn't been a conversation in a while. Uh, and now there's an opportunity. What did I say about someone wanting to rebuild and, and, and reconnect and build a partnership and an alliance? So I feel through communication, through having some sort of dialogue with another person, uh, I feel strongly that they will muster up their strength and courage. And remember what I said, a divine feminine, divine masculine, they attract, you know, they attract what they want to them. So this three is showing me someone's returning. This is like reuniting with people. And also remember, choose wisely because Mercury retrograde is going to bring several picks of the litter. Some of them are going to be A ones. Some of them are going to be, you know, really intentional, really sincere, uh, very pure hearted. And others are going to be just trying to tempt you to fall back into the trap of, you know, confusion. So just don't don't get got, you know, because um, you're, there is a choice here and you have to choose wisely. So for some of you all, you may need to meditate to get it straight. And look here, we got the love begins and we have the Empress. I've been speaking about the Empress. I can't make this up. Look at this. And we have uh, lyrics to go playing by a tribe called Quest. So I do feel like this person is definitely on a quest to, to rekindle this connection. Um, they have awakened. Now, there's a meeting of the minds. Remember, one person was awake when, when I was speaking of the six. If you look here, this person has become very much aware. You know, there's two cards here just showing the type of chemistry, showing the type of synergy between the two. And there goes the Empress. I've been speaking of the Empress the entire time, and there she is. So this is how this person sees you. This person has a lot of love. This is something that is undeniable. You cannot fake this type of energy chemistry. This is someone who sees you, um, sees your worth and value. They could even be a little intimidated, which is why they're trying to gather themselves, get themselves together. Look at this. <laughs> and you got the prosperity begins and you also have abundance there. So you have somebody, look at this. Somebody is trying to hold on to you. See this disruption? And this was right next to or right underneath the prosperity begins. So this is the same as the devil in this deck. So this this tempting, this devil is going to not only try to tempt you, but they're trying to disrupt your peace. And look what's right underneath that. What's right underneath that is wisdom. So you, you are wise. You already know, you already seen this trick before, a time or two. So you, you're very hip to the game. You're very much aware. And what's underneath that is triumph. So this person is trying to block you from having a new beginning with someone that is divinely meant for you. And you are too smart for that. This person is really focused on your finances. It's like they, they are literally trying to just like attach themselves to you because they see that you are abundant. You know, they see that you have some, some, some some finances like they see you got some money coming in because with this abundance it's like they know something is coming in and they're trying to hold on to you with everything they have this is very interesting and we got jay-z here and he's rhyming sweet so this person is going to be trying to act all sweet you know they're trying to put sugar over shit you know what i'm saying just try this they still <laughs> you know what i'm saying they still don't got nothing to offer you know what i'm saying so they pouring sugar on shit Pardon my language, 
but this person really doesn't have good intentions they're trying to disrupt your peace they're trying to also block this this new opportunity we got all this love and harmony and peace and happiness this is someone you've had a ending with so they're coming back in true you know mercury retrograde fashion to try to disrupt the peace so why is 88 abundance here transformation see what did i say you're being rewarded for the work that you've done for your transformation this is the number 13 this is your energy this is the death this is the same energy you started the reading off with rebirth that's from another deck and then you started you end it with transformation which is the same vibration and energy so this is why you have massive abundance coming in because you have transformed you've changed for the better you're not the same person you've evolved in your way of thinking You've also come into spiritual alignment. You've come into alignment with yourself. And now there's like, you know, people trying to throw these challenges in front of you. But it's like, look how the, the little light bugs are lighting the way for you. So you could see that there is a potential, you know, that like you could fall to your death if you don't watch your walk. So it's like spirit is guiding the way leading you on the right path telling you what to avoid who to avoid and you just have to be obedient and trust trust your gut instincts because right now we have oshun rhyming solar plexus so your stomach is it acts as a second brain and remember i was telling you all forewarning you to go with your gut instincts trust your gut instincts don't go against it because it could potentially save your life and let me show you what's on the bottom of the deck this is that devil's last attempt at thwarting some sort of plan, some sort of opportunity, because look what you have just underneath that. You have fulfillment of wishes. This is like a double, triple confirmation that blessings are coming straight from source, from the divine. This is going to bring you massive abundance, expansion, growth, happiness, material harvest is here, is also here. So this is like you are going to be taken care of for your todays, your tomorrows. This is infinite supply, better days ahead, no need to worry, beloveds. And then you have memories of love. So this is the same as the Six of Cups. Someone from your past that still holds on to you, still holds you near and dear to their heart, is still desiring you, still holding on to this connection. You have so much blessings coming in. And someone is trying to block it. But your angels and your ancestors are protecting you. And just as I said, you could literally fall, you know, if if you were not, if this were not lit by your angels, your ancestors, you would not see that. And so it's almost like whoever's trying to trip you up, spirit is giving you the intuition to to avoid, you know, that, um, you know, that pitfall. Ashe. Uh, so let's pull some messages from the hoodoo. So let's see what we got. So we got a king of cups. So this is your energy here, divine masculines, if even, even if you're divine feminine. And look what he's looking at. He's looking at this beautiful young thing over here. This is the world card. The garden is the world. So this is absolutely, didn't I tell y'all, y'all had a couple of secret admirers. This card just fell out. So this is definitely your message this just jumped out of my hand and fell so i'm gonna put that here as a bonus message the world so you've definitely evolved as someone different and i feel like you're stronger now you're more confident now um and it's just it's beautiful it's attractive that's why this you know this king of cups can't keep his eyes off of her so there's a lot of jealousy and envy perhaps uh from you you know transforming and and um not just surviving but thriving from this circumstance you got a lot of suitors now because now you you know you are someone as i said who has learned you know their own worth and value so you're taking care of yourself you're more intentional with your relationships you're no longer carrying the burdens of relationships and the burdens of other people's responsibilities on your shoulders you're learning to delegate as necessary there was definite a lot of uh, indecision, confusion, conflict, whether by, by me, your behalf or someone's behalf. Uh, but we got the four of coins and the son of coins. If you look closely, he's pointing directly at Scorpio. So I do feel like somebody's trying to figure out because what he's doing is called scrying. So it's like somebody is trying to figure out how to 
manifest you back or how to make an offer um, just as I was picking up how to get you back and this is someone you have history with you know this is someone you put a lot of time and energy but you didn't feel like you got a return on that investment you don't feel like that person took the connection seriously maybe you felt like they were a little cold you know maybe you felt like they cut you off you know um but we have a uh, gang star again this is called code of the streets someone is strong like someone is attracted to your strength though i feel like this person perhaps they was trying to um you know appear a certain way to their social group you know because with code of the street they was trying to stay on code but it went against everything um perhaps that they truly desired what they truly felt you know when you're trying to stay on code it's like you know being being on the same wavelength as the people around you so i feel like this person was probably um doing things that went against what they truly desired only to fit in with their social group or with their family or with their friends so it's like they went against something that they truly wanted to go towards if you will so let's see so we have what did i say black Ma messiah is the magician so you all have learned to manifest you all have absolutely learned to utilize your powers your talents for good i mentioned the magician earlier um, that is one of the first steps is you, you when you come into that awareness, you start to co-create, you start to manifest, you start to utilize that power for good. I feel strongly someone could be manifesting you back into their life, you know, because you've you're you're busy. You know, you can see she's watering her garden. You know, she's she's fulfilled. She's successful. She's domestic. She's that divine feminine. So she's birthing new ideas. This masculine has been watching you. And I feel strongly like this person feels like they could have a very strong and solid foundation with you. They want to rebuild. They want to build with you. You know, this is someone who wants another start, another chance. They see you as a star because we have gang star uh, rhyming. So this is someone who feels you could absolutely um, be that wish fulfillment for them. We got the ace of coins here. So spirit is offering you something solid, something tangible. This is like a blessing. Some of you all have new careers, new job offers. You have some unexpected money. You have sudden wealth. I'm just hearing like there's some money coming in and it's like a reward. The spirit is recognizing hard work. Spirit is rewarding you for this hard work and will also reward you in that spiritual career on your spiritual path because it is destined for you. It is ordained for you to live in abundance. It is ordained. And I feel like you've been very patient in this process of healing. Someone could be coming back to offer you a ring, an engagement ring, could be proposing to you. This could be somebody wanting to take things to that next level. This could be you even coming into a real um, a real relationship with someone, like really um, compromising with this person and developing, um, you know, that strong partnership as we saw. And it developing into something serious, something more committed Look, I can't make this up. Two of baskets. I cannot make this up. This is why good things take time to create. And patience is always a form of action. It's also a form of action. Pardon me. So it's like it takes time for you to heal. It takes time for you to get to the root cause of the problem. It takes time for you to learn to, to, to speak your truth, to stand in your power. And once you do that, you take... You take control in the reins of your life and you start to do the things you're most passionate about, what you most desire. And I feel like that's why it's a waiting game, because not only did you have to do this internal work, this spiritual work, but your pr counterpart, because this is a double six. This is double numbers. And, you know, whenever I see double numbers, that means that there's mirroring um, of the two parties. And this two is showing me, like I said, this is like somebody who was, you know, torn between two stuck in two minds or someone who was dealing with two different people but this is the discovery that with you they have equal give and take they have love they have joy these two are smitten for one another and there goes gula jack this is the hangman so someone is looking at things they remember that that sacrificial position spirit put them in where i said that they were having to learn to see things from a different perspective and we're about to clarify teaching and learning so who have they been learning from they've been learning from you 
the divine feminine, the divine masculine. As I said, the six, there's always that masculine looking over to the feminine while the feminine is looking up that spirit. So it's as if the feminine is already aware of the union that they have, that spiritual partnership they have, but the masculine didn't catch up. They now are all caught up because now they're learning. They're looking at the connection. They're looking at the dynamic. You know, you look on the crown, uh, his first sty, it is what appears to be a compass. So it's like he is learning to trust his own intuition, to use discernment in all the movements that he makes, to look at things from all vantage points. And what he's realizing is chemistry, harmony, synergy with you, Scorpio. The love that the two of you create is, is, is it's just infectious. And this person is learning that they've been kind of like biting, you know, cutting their nose off and spiting their own face, so to speak, because they 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 were self sabotaging the whole time. And now we have um, fabulous, and this is called summertime sadness. So this person has been sad in your absence. I feel like I'm hearing they put on a strong face around their friends, but when they are alone, this is what they feel. Because we got emotional loss and we got summertime sadness. So this person definitely has been suffering a great deal. You know, they've had to separate from a karmic, but now they're left with those feelings, realizing and discovering that the chemistry they have for you, this is the heart of the matter. The love they have for you is real because there's two of baskets. And that's why they're over here trying to manifest you back. So why is 57 teaching and learning and harmony here? Give me one moment. My son's calling back. Pardon me. So, yeah, there's an offer coming. The six of coins, hands itching. I feel y'all have an offer coming in. I feel this person is really uh, going to offer you something real, something tangible. As I said, this could be a wedding ring, an engagement ring, a promise ring. Um, but this is someone that definitely doesn't want to let you get away. So why is 57 teaching and learning harmony here for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And I had a card flip over. Where is it? See that? I can't make this up. Four of wands. The four of wands. This is what they feel. 11, 11 right there. I can't make this up. You are the one. You are the one. You are their twin flame, their cosmic companion. They cannot deny this. They've been learning. So the same time y'all, you know, the same amount of time y'all have been apart you know, they've been doing their work as well. So I feel like not only have you been very instrumental in healing and growing and evolving and maturing and just changing, you know, overall, but this person has been taking a, a page or two out of your book because they've been watching you from a distance. But this person is absolutely bitten by the smitten bug. There's no denying it. They love you deeply, dearly. They have a lot of passion for you. This is someone that wants to build with you, plant seeds, roots family legacy this is someone that is smitten look at all this energy and they're trying very hard to manifest you back into their life because they realize that you're the one you are the one you are the one and we have um nipsey hustle rising power king and this is called million while you're young and so i just feel like this person you know feels like you're the the, the, you know, your, your love is one in a million is what I'm hearing that Aaliyah song. You know, when I hear million, I also feel like the two of you together, because you can see this is a very spiritual partnership. Y'all are like planting seeds and roots. So you, you, you could be performing some sort of like ritual here, spiritual, uh, ritual together. So with million while you're young, you two could go into business, just as the card said, um, spiritual partnership, spiritual career, and you both could become, um, multi-millionaires working together um we got the father of sticks here so someone is really broken hearted um this could be someone who was like definitely uh had a wandering eye so if this is an ex someone from your past someone who uh definitely um who was who was def not invested kind of flighty i'm just picking up somebody flighty in and out unreliable it's like now you know, they're, they're feeling the emotions. They're feeling the loss deeply. Why is 46? Thank you, spirit. See that? And we got the same car, the page. So I, I do feel strongly, you know, somebody may try to make an offer, but you may deny it because this son of coins, um, that's just not on your frequency for the, 
you know, I, I just feel like it's not a genuine offer. And this may break someone's heart that you do not accept the offer. Um, maybe you thought you was building towards something with someone and it just didn't work out. Somebody could have been, you know, kind of like um, dealing with a lot of options here. You know, kind of confused, didn't know which directions to go, what to do. But I see strongly right here that um, with this pointing here at the Scorpio, somebody has their eye on you, they're learning and studying you. But I feel like he's still young, so this is like immaturity. This is like, you know, a page and you're sitting here in this Empress energy. So it's definitely given off that you're not going to be accepting of this offer because this is not, you know, it, it's just not meant for you. Um, this person was treating you like you was an option or one of many. And, you know, maybe this caused you great pain and hurt. But what you are doing now is you're learning to move forward and go after what you truly desire and not try to appease and please someone. Um, why is this 88 manifestation and 13 transformation here for my beautiful Scorpios? We're going to get these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Ashe. So why is 88 abundance see that somebody is manifesting you this is scrying somebody holding on to you with transformation they have seen your transformation they're being called by spirit you know to to come toward you this is someone definitely um also utilizing their power you know emerging as someone who is a co-creator someone who knows how to channel the power the energy from spirit from the divine I also feel like you've been tapping into your divinity as well, manifesting what you desire. See? And this is patience again. Father Sims is temperance. So it's all been a matter of divine timing. Everything that you are experiencing right now is all a matter of divine timing. Because I do feel like I said that there is a need uh, to be patient because just like you had to close the chapter, I feel someone else is closing their chapter um, maybe they're getting some sort of inkling that you're the one that they want to go after. Uh, because after this broken hearted, um, ness that they've experienced, it's like maybe now they're, they're rebuilding, they're planting new seeds, they're on a new venture. Um, and they're remembering, you know, this connection, uh, and realizing, you know, cause it's not a coincidence that they're pointing directly at that Scorpio. So it's like, and he's holding a book. So like I said, the teaching and learning is right next to it. So they're learning and they're studying you from afar. They're watching you. Um, and this is somebody who's, you know, through watching you, it's teaching them how to heal, heal themselves because they've been watching you. The teaching and learning is right next to it. So we have support system, the village people you could trust and depend on in crisis on the bottom of the deck. So you absolutely, like I said, have been developing stronger relationships with your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors, and they have really given you, you know, the tools you necessary to, you know, overcome these hurdles, you know, to get through these difficulties. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to pull some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. Ah, shay. So spirit, let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. Bottom of the deck, we got kings, queens, disease, gluttony, power hungry. So I was picking up on somebody who was potentially trying to reel you back so that they can, you know, you know, try to uh, um, benefit from all of the success and rewards that you appear to be getting from spirit. So it says breaking generational curses, yokes, karmic cords. You're powerful and owning it. Congrats. So this is falling right under the... Um, Rebirth card, uh, firm foundation, the world, and then Black Herman. So this is what you all have been doing. You have broken those generational curses. You have been very instrumental in your healing process. And not only have you healed yourself, but you have healed many generations there after you uh, by being very intentional with your work, by standing in your power, and by healing at a soul level. Um, so spirit is rewarding you for that purpose alone. It's like, that's why that you know, re recognition and reward cards showed up. That's why you had all of those cards speaking to prosperity and abundance, because this is the type of, 
you know, um, works that gets recognized by spirit, because this wasn't an easy feat to get to this place where you have emerged and evolved someone different, someone completely new, especially when you were dealing with a lot of like um, succubus energy, a lot of greedy people, um, very calculating, cunning energy. And so it says jealousy is a sickness, hater alert, stalker alert. So I was picking up on someone coming around because they're seeing you develop new relationship, new connections with someone that you really have uh, a spiritual bond and connection to. And this is going to bring out the ugliness in that person because they're seeing you literally get swept away uh, by another person and their jealousy and the, this this envy is going to start showing up as uh, temptation um, and also as a very disruptive energy because they're trying to distract you from this love. Um, next, we have regal, royal. There's levels and you supersede them, diamond in the rough. Didn't I say that? Like you are just too special. We got this three, 57 reduces to 12. That's three. That's the empress. You got harmony, the two of cups, and then you got regal royal. So someone absolutely sees you. Um, as all of the aforementioned, like someone who is just very powerful, very sure of themselves, very attractive, uh, someone who is very domestic, kind, loving, giving, um, and also someone that they have a very beautiful banter, connection, chemistry, uh, someone that stimulates them, mind, body, and soul. But you're also rare. You know, you're like that angel, that earth angel. You're like that that regal um, energy. I mentioned that energy. That's beautiful. And then we have reinvent yourself, a uh, new wardrobe, haircut, hairstyle, massage, mani pedi, henna tattoo. So this person now is starting to realize like, okay, that relationship didn't work. Um, but you know, let me, let me, let me look forward. You know, even though this hurts, um, I'm going to heal myself. I'm a recover. Um, I'm a focus on me. Um, but this is where it gets interesting because now um, maybe they start looking up your information online and they find you and you give this person that hope. Uh, you make this person feel like, OK, excited about life again, because now they're trying to uh, reinvent themselves so that they could come towards you uh, to recapture this this very beautiful connection that they feel they have with you. So I do feel like, you know, you've inspired someone to work on themselves, to heal themselves, and they are, you know, really got their eyes locked in on you so much so that they are learning, you know, they're learning um, a better way to emote. Maybe they're learning your love language, uh, but they're learning something impertinent to you. It's like there's some sort of awakening, some sort of enlightenment um, that they're having because that sun is also um, sticking out to me. So it's like, and they're smiling. So it's like they like what, they, what they're what they learning. They like what's, what's happening, what's developing, and it's making them excited again. Um, they're building up that confidence and that strength to come towards you. So that's beautiful. So why is this eight, 88 um, um, abundance, 13? transformation and the four of coins and we have downloads transmissions divine interventions so definitely be um, be aware uh, so look at this it says patience is also a form of action stay diligent so I was picking up on patience and you waiting for something to transpire or waiting for a relationship or waiting for someone in the divine time it wasn't the right timing or the timing at the time wasn't divine timing is what I should say and um, but now it's almost as if this it's 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 about to happen it's about to to develop but then there's this this distraction it says frenemies they don't really rock with you like that maybe someone is realizing you know um you know that wh whoever they've been perhaps confiding in or uh speaking to them in, in regards to this relationship this partnership they're learning that those weren't their real friends those were people who were in competition those were people who were trying to sabotage this connection um this person has been holding on to you and i feel like it's because spirit has guided them to do so we did have the uh, downloads, transmissions, divine intervention. So they are, in fact, receiving those downloads. And that's why they've been holding on to this connection, because they could feel just as much as you could feel that there is a synergy here. There is a, a, a very spiritual union. Um, patience is also a form of action is just telling me that your person that's coming towards you is just really uh, fighting through a lot of that shadow work dealing with a lot of karmics um, and cutting the cords to those comics, but they will, in fact, 
um, eventually come towards you once those ties are cut. So they're also having to uh, cut themselves free and see that they're having to cut themselves free from somebody who is addicted to them. We have single black, white, female, once your life, jealous, envious, sneaky, hater. Didn't I tell y'all? And then it says mental health matters. Stop overthinking. So someone is really up in their head a lot. Um, they could be, you know, kind of talking themselves out of something. Um, but they are dealing with people who are not really their friends, you know, and, and they're going to need you to to send them some good vibrations, to send them love and light so that they could see their waste their way through because this is someone who is struggling um but the people around them is definitely causing them some angst um and it says love is a battlefield is it worth the fight and it says questions seek answers and then it says so this is what your person uh potentially is uh starting to recognize or starting to question within themselves um you know love is a battlefield yes but is it supposed to always hurt you know is it always supposed to be this painful uh because love is not painful you know let's just get that off the way out the way so this person is is like over analyzing uh this situation when they need to just you know take a step back and and cut these uh these karmic cords for once and for all because it's truly weighing them down emotionally uh spiritually mentally you know to the point where there's a lot of overthinking um and so that's why i said just send them love and light see that we got support system again it says support system the village people you could trust and depend on in a crisis so this is that energy um that's right there get, guiding this person along the way and i was picking up on that because there's two feathers uh in this uh gentleman's hat and feathers always denote you know an angelic presence or angelic communication and remember we did have divine um interventions and downloads so this person is spiritual they will make the connection they will see through all of the illusions you got praying on your downfall watch them so there's all of the negative energy that could possibly come out from my deck is here front of me single white black female once your life praying on your downfall this is that energy of um you know that devil uh that showed up twice in the reading um trying to disrupt your peace and look what it says cut your losses you'll be rewarded greatly so and and you'll be rewarded with not only uh, blessings. So you are seen as Mama Oshun, Divine Feminines, very attractive, very abundant. But it says love and happiness, spiritual union. So to get to this this beautiful spiritual union, someone has to do a lot of shadow work. They're going to have to do this work. They're going to have to cut those soul ties. They're going to have to release that ex to cut that person off. And then after that, they're going to need to do some more healing because I feel like they're still wrapped up in something um and there's still eyes on them and this person that they could be dealing with whatever their karmic whomever their karmic is could have some inkling about you they should they can know about you and feel threatened to the point where they're sending you some evil eyes so just be mindful um to protect yourself to protect your energy um to provide you know to ask for that fiery impenetrable wall of protection from your angels um call you know on your ancestors uh for guidance but definitely do your due diligence because there is uh some really dark energy i'm picking up on that's just very jealous and envious and as i was saying earlier just projection um that to me is like that is just a very easy way out of taking onus and accountability so a lot of people will project opposed to like reflecting on themselves or uh taking accountability so just be mindful because that's like i said if something's not growing if someone did not grow then it's dead you know whatever isn't growing is dead so if somebody comes back and they are they still giving off that funky energy just don't even give them your time your time is currency now so don't even waste your time on that energy it's very vile there's nothing there that you're going to learn other than disappointment all right. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I will that you stay a while. I will the message has resonated for you. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big old fat ashay. Peace.